Right, so I've got a uh, mailbag video here to do, so I've got a few items, so I might as well get those out of the way and done. Let's we'll see what we've got. Let's uh, rearrange things slightly. Okay, little pen gone. Uh, pen, knife. There you go, knife. Definitely not a pen. Been a long day. It's been my kaboom. That's it, okay. A couple of flux pins. Now my other one is getting a bit low. I actually went, went to use it the other day and nothing came out and I shook it around a bit and it started working again so I think it's just getting very low. Um, so I've got a couple more different types. So we've got this one here which I think has got a finer point on it, is it? Yeah, it's got a nice fine point on this one. So. Uh, but like a, almost like a brush really but it's solid I thought it might be nice for doing small stuff and um, I think actually squeezing a lot like this one you got you actually see the level on it or maybe not maybe you can't see the level on it mm -hmm. you actually see the tube inside there yeah big outer tube really small inner tube where the flux actually is we go so yes well nice way of faking the volume isn't it so it looks bigger than it really is um, next one is this solid one very similar to one I've already got nice big jump uh, big point on it Two years shelf life, it reckons. Yeah, well, we'll see. So I got those anyway, because I almost ran out. And it's like, oh. <coughs> it was a bit inconvenient at the time. Anyway, uh, let's look at the next thing. I think this is when I was going through my little um, heat sink acquisition phase. <laughs> Some more little heat sinks, different ones, adhesive ones, self adhesive, and some more of these. These are TOT20 ones. Um, there you go, this one's ripped open, so this is kind here. So, I have one laying around here, no, but it's a nice chunky heat sink, I suppose, for that, what they are. Just if, if you need just a little bit more cooling than is available normally, you know, almost freestanding transistor, this helps slightly. Um, I thought I'd get a couple of those too because they're relatively cheap. But much at all. I think these are actually Raspberry Pi, I think, something like. I think that's what they were. But uh, grab a couple. Again, just adding to my stock, so just adding stuff together. And, um, that's just a piece of label. Interesting. Right. So what I get there, probably 30 of those ones, and a couple of those. All right, so I've definitely got plenty of heat sinks now. I should have a nice selection for the next time I need one. Okay, so here's the last thing. Let's get into it and find out what the story is here. I have an idea what this is. I believe it's an eBay purchase. It's been nicely packaged. I, I, in the habit of saying when I buy things on eBay to make sure it's thoroughly well packed, you know, so it protects it from damage in shipping. I always point out that the postal company isn't, well, postal service isn't always careful with your package. Things get thrown around, and I like to point that out because people forget. But this guy's done a really nice job of packing this, but look at it. There's bloody peanuts everywhere, which is a bit of a pain, but that's the way it is. Put a go over the floor, make a huge mess. Right, don't think there's anything stubborn in the bottom there, no. So let's try to protect it, so she's brilliant, so I'll be getting good feedback for that. So you put it inside a bag to try and stop it from there. Uh, Getting damp, I'm guessing. So, 
Cool. So, it's an old Heathkit decade resistance box. Right, um, I've got no idea what condition it was like. I think it was believed to be okay. Um, so. My camera mount seems to be falling apart, so hopefully it doesn't shift while I'm recording. I'm doing this on top of the fluke. It's probably alright. I've been doing, working on a fluke all morning. Doing some measurements on the voltages and things like that. So what we got here. Two five pin CB style connectors. Well a five pin connector and a chassis socket. Um all a bunch of these things. So there's another one, five pin as well. The main thing I've got these four is chassis sockets. The chassis sockets if I can say probably. Um, so, get yeah, five of those. So, five males, or five male plugs, and, and five female sockets. These are handy if you, you know, have to repair one on a CB because they do get broken and damaged, and pins break off, or they, they've been dropped and it smashes the outside. You need to fix them. So, um, I thought I'd get some. Five of those. Alright, so next thing. I believe I've got those on Banggood. Um, so I'll, I'll try and put links down below. Use my referral links. Um, I've always got a link in the description that goes to Banggood. So make sure you use that to go there because um, then I get um, credit onto my account or points or something like that, I think it was. Anyway, so I went through a little phase of buying plugs. Here's some more. Um, these are four pin. I think they're all four pin. Same thing, same deal. So these are four pin plugs instead. Four pin plug, four pin chassis socket. For the same reasons. And the last thing. I have an idea what this is already. It is. All right, now this, there's a bit of a story behind this. This is a EV blog t-shirt, right, from Dave, from his from his uh, store. You got to have one of these things. Come on, you got to have one. All right. Um, so, that's fine. I purchased that a month ago. After, well, it got sent on the 3rd of, no, of March. And I realised last week that hey hasn't arrived yet and the date now is the 28th and uh, normally it only takes a week or so from Australia for things to arrive here it doesn't take that long sometimes it's only a, a few days um, but this is like three weeks I'm thinking where the hell is it so I emailed Dave and said hey this thing's not turned up and then miraculously a few days later it turns up so I'm guessing Dave inquired about where it went and suddenly it got found um, an observation I have made this is my personal opinion and that is that sometimes if things don't arrive um, if you look up, look them up suddenly they appear shortly after that you know, a few days later they'll suddenly turn up um, it seems to be that things will maybe get lost for a few days or for a period of time until someone checks on it it's almost as though if somebody doesn't check on it, it will stay lost, if you know what I mean. Um, I can't say that I think New Zealand Post has employees which are stealing mail um, at their mail centres. I couldn't possibly say that because that would be probably, um, you know, I might get in trouble for saying that. But that's not what I'm saying. My opinion is that, my impression is that things will not arrive unless you chase them and then they will miraculously appear. Um, make of that what you will. Anyway, catch you later.